In this lecture, we're going to discuss the log loss function and the, the intuition behind it. So the log loss function is the error or the loss function, function against which uh, the estimates are determined. It is similar to uh, the least squares error term that we calculate in ordinary least squares uh, regression. And if you refer back to my, uh, to my uh, uh, lecture on uh, the OLS regression estimates using solver, in that particular uh, video, I showed how uh, the error function is calculated and the objective of calculating estimates is to minimize the error term. So the, the equivalent error term in, uh, in logistic regression is log loss. And we use this function because the dependent variable is a categoric variable. It's got two states, on, off, yes, no, one, or zero. It does not have a continuous variable so that we can calculate anything close to the sum of squared errors. Now, what's, how is the log loss function calculated and how do we actually determine estimates uh, which minimize the log loss? So this gives us the formula for log loss, uh, which is uh, for each row we calculate yi log pi plus 1 minus yi lo into log 1 minus pi. We add it up for all the rows, divide by n and multiply by minus 1, which is essentially what this formula is saying. But what is yi and what is log pi? And how do we actually calculate this log loss? So let's go a little bit more in detail behind the intuitive explanation of log loss. So what, what does yi or y actually mean? So y is, so for each row i in the data set, y is the outcome of the dependent variable. As, uh, as uh, explained before, the dependent variable in logistic regression is either on, off, yes, no, or one or zero. And P is the predicted probability of the outcome by applying the logistic regression equation. And if I, if I show this again, so the, uh, the logistic regression equations is simply P is equal to e raised to power z over 1 plus e raised to power z, where z is the regression equation beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus all the way till beta n xn, where uh, beta naught, beta one, all the way beta n are the estimates that we want to uh, generate and uh, x1, x2, x3 till xn are the independent variables. So the objective is to adjust the estimates in the logistic regression, that is find out values of beta naught, beta one, all the way till beta n, such that the total log loss function of the whole data set is minimized. And how does this happen? For example, if we look at this, if y is equal to one, then this part of the equation actually becomes zero because one minus one is zero. So this essentially becomes zero and our log loss simply becomes uh, y into log one, log of one, uh, sorry, y into log of p. If y is one, the log loss function is, log, is essentially log of p. Now, how is this error minimized? So log of uh, p is zero if p tends to one. If probability is approaching one, where y is one, then this whole log loss function tends to approach zero. And similarly, if y is equal to zero, that means y is zero. In this case, this part of the function becomes zero and we are essentially looking at this part, which is one into log of one minus p. In this case, if p, if the probability approaches zero, this whole function again starts to approach zero. So in cases where y is one, the probability value should be as high as possible. If y is zero, the probability value should be as low as possible. And this actually minimizes the total log loss of the whole data set. And what we're going to do is we're going to go with a practical example for this. And I'm going to look at a data set which is called the Charles Book Club uh, case study. Now, this is a very popular uh, case study available on the internet. You can download it there or you can download it from the descriptions. Uh, if you are, if you are a paid subscriber, I will upload this data set uh, uh, for you to download as well. Now, a little background on this case study. So this is a book club which has uh, tens of thousands of members and it launches new books fairly regularly and conducts uh, marketing campaigns to its members, inducing them to buy that book. So it's launched a new book called The Art History of Florence, and uh, they want to do a marketing campaign. But who do they campaign to? They've got tens and thousands of customers or members, but they cannot approach or they cannot send a mailer to all of them. No, all of them, it's not possible. 
Mail campaigns are expensive. They only want to mail to those who are likely to buy. So a, a better way is to build a predictive model, which is going to uh, which is going to identify amongst these tens of thousands who is going to buy. To do this, they've done a test mailing to about 4,000 members randomly. So they did a simple random sample, an SRS which we've covered before in our lectures. What does an SRS mean? Uh, we do a simple random sample, extract 4,000 members, send them a mailer. Based on that, some of them purchased a book, some did not. So whoever purchased a book is categorized as one. Whoever doesn't purchase a book is categorized as zero. And we're going to build a model which is able to predict who is more likely to buy. So we build this model on these 4,000 customers, apply that model to the rest of the customers, and then segment the data set and only mail to the people who are likely to buy. So this is the objective of this case study. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the log loss example, put this on this case study and try to solve this. All right. So on to the next lecture.